Oh, hello, class. Sorry about my cat. This is my cat, Elmo. Say hi, Elmo. Well, oh, he's gone. Um, he's going to be walking around. He's kind of a crazy dude. So um, I wanted to make a quick video to uh, help you guys um, with regard to how to answer your discussion questions because um, a lot of uh, online students, especially when they're first starting to learn how to answer discussion questions, um, seem to have problems with uh, figuring out how to analyze um, the prompt um, in a way that's succinct but also um, you know uh, answers the question what I want you to do and what, what the thing that you need to do is you need to provide some sort of level of sophistication where you go to use the chapter and the terms that we've learned in the chapter and this applies to any class you might take and use the terms that you've read in the chapter um, or the concepts or the theories whatever you you pick you know just something some kind of content from the chapter and analyze with your own opinion or you know your feelings on the matter analyze the prompt with those terms but the thing is the the terms that you pick are very important try to pick terms that might be new to you um, and might be a little bit more sophisticated than some of the other terms in other words don't go into the chapter and pick things, something out like race and then bold race and say this is my term I'm using to analyze we all know what the, that term race means or ethnicity or culture um, <clears throat> use you know use other terms um, from the chapters like schemata or habitus or something that is new it, pr it provides for me a window to an extra level of sophistication with regard to your analysis that you've actually read the chapter have learned something new about sociology have learned something new um, about the content and are analyzing it in a different way that's what I want to see don't just bold um, you know terms for example um, you know uh, if we talk about finances using the term budget or something like that that's that's not gonna it's not it's not new and it's just a word in your um, book it's not a term it's not a new term so I want to see that you are aware of this uh, that there's new terms that you're learning in the chapter and in our in the lectures um, social network analysis chapter you know that's going to be new stuff for you um, there's plenty of new terminology emotional labor feeling roles I mean during this class there's going to be plenty of um, of terminology to use and I want to see that you can weave that within the context of your replies so that's how I'm going to grade your replies uh, and your discussions um, to the, the replies to the discussion prompts so take a good hard read of the chapter um, you know and try to you know learn new concepts and terms and theories and then weave that into your response you will always get a good grade from me if you do that but don't just use terms that I know that we know that you wouldn't even need the chapter to 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 have you know any sort of new exposure to a new idea okay so I just wanted to make this before you know you start answering any questions or anything like that as a little guide um, to one of the biggest things that I choose uh, when um, or I focus on I choose to focus on when I grade your discussion prompts um, is, is that is is using new concepts terms and theories within the analysis um, and the more sophisticated the better um, you can just stick to your chapter also do the word count check your spelling uh, you don't just you know do something really quickly and don't wait till the last minute because the people that wait till the last minute have horrible entries um, you know one day to go before the module closes and, blah, 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 and they're firing off all their stuff never works it's a, it's not a good policy for that okay just trying to help you guys as many many times as I possibly can all right good luck enjoy the class